is at Victory Lane. So has Vinny and Rubo and at St. Angelo. Who will it be tonight? They roll off and turn Native, the 1993 track champion showing that champions are not about as the ambulance is called out of the out of his parking spot. victory. Well, not Tom Scully. He's got one. That coming two seasons ago. Everybody else looking for that initial one as they roll off in turn number four looking for the green. And we're back on the racing action. comments you may have for the staff and management. I'll just let them know what you're thinking as long as it's uh, constructive criticism. If it's bad, if it's good, for all the players is wonderful. Green is all back on the way it's And Dion finds himself on the outside retaining roll along with the 84, uh, the 34. And Dion's able to roll that car down to the infield and it just is not Wayne Dion's night as this is the second incident that Dion has been involved in. A rough break for the Warwick, Rhode Island native, our 1982 Pro Stock champion. Came into tonight well in the top five in points. Matter of fact, came in as your runner-up behind Wayne Dion. That probably will change because 24 cars still remain out on the field. Doesn't look like Wayne will have the time to get that car repaired and back out onto the track. So now Scully and Cavalera one more time. We'll bring them down. One lap has been complete. We'll see if we can get the final 34 in here as anyone lets him go it back underway. Down off the second corner, Scully leads him down. Cavalera motors to the outside. They go double wide off the corner. Scully has a lead. Here comes Mike Hassan. Fourth in line. Radical Rick Martin sits there in line. Off the corner they come. And Rubo gets sideways after he gets a tap from the number three. He spins it down to the infield. That's on the hook. And that's going to bring a caution. And 
and that is a definite no-no that Vinny just did. And Vinny says, this is it. And he is thrown out our chief star already, Lord. He is not happy at all. He jumps down off the stand. And it looks like he's going to have a word with both Goodwill and Anna Rubo. Santa Rubo and will be ejected from the speed ride. As they roll into three, off at turn number four, looking for the green with two laps complete. Eddie Barn looks him off the corner, green flag is out, Scully leads him down. Off the turn of a two, they come. Scully sets the pace. Hassel trying to get a run going on the outside. 87 of Cavallaro sits there down low off the corner of the crowd. Scully has Chad Chase has something dragging off the right rear, and that's going to cost him severely. As they roll, the black flag will be out for Chad. that protects the rear fuel cell. Down into one and two and four. It is all Bobby Pellin spins off turn number two. That's going to bring out another crash in. Looking for the green. Hopefully we'll get the final 31 in this time. Off of turn four they come. We're back underway. Scully again gets the jump and not much from this time. As Mike Hassel is able to hang on the outside. Down into three and four they go. Double wide. Off the corner, Scully and Hassel. 87 of Cavallaro starting to slide back just a little bit. Taking with him the 77 of Alla McClure. Martin gets by, works his way up into fifth. Up front of you, Look at Mike Hassel on the outside. Scully leads him up, drifts off the corner. Look at Hoy and make it three lines. If he doesn't, he's going to get beat down low. If he does, he may get beat up high, but he'll get beat the hard way. Off the corner again. Somebody is there on his back bumper. Assel gets another run going on the outside, trying to get the momentum he needs. Dick Hohan sits right there waiting. Now takes a look to the outside. Motors by the 95 of Manchester as the 14th of Estelle and the 77. Down the back straightaway. Tom Scully, the number two, the number 15 of Mike Castle, the 41 of Dick Hohan, the 24. This is a race now after, after fourth corner they come, double wide has As Alan McClure is given the black flag, as he is smoking severely, he adheres to it, he'll head to the pits. Off the corner they come, Hassel and Scully, side by side. Edging out the number two of Tom Scully. He's going to hit the pits as well. Off the corner they come. Scully on the inside. Hassel up high. Will we see another brand new face in the Or will it be another veteran? Well, we'll find out. Because back here with Hassel. Ten edges out. Scully contact is made. Hassel drifts up the track. It's loose. Mondojo just makes it through. As we're right back on the corner. Tonight is a name of survival. Rick Martin, Dick Houlihan, Billy Manchester have all survived. Freddie Estelle and Bobby Pellin have had to come from the rear. Green flag is on. As look at Dick Houlihan work the outside, the Corita Racing Engine number 41. Off the corner they come on, may have a 
a problem in that machine. As he slows up a little, then he finds himself on front. Here comes Estelle. Manchester will take a look to the inside. Sets the pace. Here comes Freddie Stell on the outside, the flying one. As they come off turn four, Manchester tries to make it three wide. Looks again. Can't do it as he sets it back. Freddie Stell now clears himself of his car owner, sets his sights on Dick Hoyhan in the number 41. Feature event. As they get ready to roll off in turn number four, Bullahan. Estelle off the corner, green flag is out. As they roll down into one and two, Estelle on the outside, Bullahan down low, double wide down the back straight away. It's a three and four. Bully rolls him off the corner, Estelle trying to hold on. Martin is right there. With Chad Chase rounding out the top five. Down the back, he's where they go, starting to string themselves out. Here comes the Shark on the outside. He gets by Henshaw. Nelson decides to the outside of the eight Down the back, straight away. He's got his hands up in the air on Chief Stoddard. He's not congratulating him. He's letting him know there's 10 to go. As Freddie Estelle is settled in for second, right now tries to gather it back in one more time. 41 of Dick Hoyer here, off the corner they go. But he has not been able to do it. Look at Chad Chase, gather up on Rick Martin. He's up to fourth, sets his sights on third as Martin bottoms off in one three, third of a three. his way back towards the top five. Off the front, they come and still hold it in. Estelle, 24-5, Chase. That's about the third going on. Off the corner, Chase up high. Martin down low. Martin trying to just survive tonight's racing activities. Does not have enough to catch it. Wants to hold on to third, though. We've got five times around this time by. 30 complete fives remain. Down off the turn number four. Look at the battle waging deep in the pack. The number two of Scully. Manchester. The number 12 of Bobby Pellin all battling for position. That's for seventh, eighth, and ninth. Jeff Goodwill holding on for tenth. Fifth quarter there this time by. Jeff Goodwill on the back of that shot. Off to Goodwill again. Looking for the second quarter of 1999. The twin sticks are up. Two to go. For Hooley. Survive for the win. Freddie Estelle in for second. Red Bond, Dan Chase, 
Jeff Kudrow ninth, and the 87 of Mike Cavallaro tenth. Rounding out the remaining finishers, the seven of Wayne Newman and the 34 of Dave Perry, but taking down the win, number two for 1999. Driving the BOC gases, Family Chiropractic Center, March Parts. Bob Sinoco, Corrida Racing Engines, number 41, out of Berkeley, Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen, Dick Houlihan. Uh, once you got rolling, you kind of have about five times. Yeah. All right, Dick. I, I get to take a victory lap. That's right. Yeah. This car works awesome. I don't care who's in the seat, this car won't race. This car goes around here by itself. I mean, it's that good of a car. Yeah, to be you guys, like, pretty as hell. You ran on their back bumper. Like, Martin was there, all the big claims. It's like the win of the season. It's been a long time. It's gonna be happy now. I feel like I've been rejuvenated. I told you last time, it kind of straightened me out. This is, like, this is too good to be true. I mean, I can get used to this. This car is awesome. Yeah, I'd like to thank all Lenny's sponsors, because I still don't know him yet. Box, box, repair, and where's Lenny? Help me out! I still don't know. He's a sponsor guy. We have to get this right. We're going to have a POC night next week. We've got to get this right, buddy. He's going from the car owner to public relations. Lenny, get a big sponsor. Oh, we have to. Uh, without these guys, we couldn't do it. Mark Parks, Peckham's Rental Center, POC Gases, uh, Bob Sinoco. Uh, we've got them all. Uh, uh, family chiropractor. Even Bob. And sign work, Lazard Glass, Phil Blanchard, we got them all. Even the, even the guy with the toys that brings the toys on the week that I buy and spend all the money. Steve's uh, toys on them. Good, good driver, obviously. I'm retiring. <laughs> I gotta sign them under contract. We're, ne we're in negotiations on, on money right now. <laughs> we haven't come to a turn yet. The second win this season for Dick Mullahan. <laughs> Great job, Dick. 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 